Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, How to Hack the Nintendo Wii Part 4. Today I'm going to walk you through something called D2X CIOS Installer. The reason you're going to want to install this on your Wii is because later on in these tutorials I'm going to show you how to put Wii games and GameCube games on your Wii through a external hard drive or a USB stick. You're going to need this program in order to make that happen. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your 32 gig or your 16 gig SD card is in your computer and let's get started. Go to this website here in the description. This is where you're going to find the CIOS installer. Um, you're going to see a whole bunch of other things on this website. I haven't really spent a lot of time reading it because there's only one thing that I really want to focus on. So scroll down to the downloads button here. So make sure you download the one for Wii, not Wii U. You're not doing a Wii U. So once you've downloaded it, you want to put this onto the uh, 32 gig SD card that you have. So I've extracted it. I'm just going to cut uh, the apps folder that was extracted. I'm going to go over to my SD card. I'm going to hit paste. It is going to, everything that's in this apps folder is going to go in the existing apps folder. Uh, that's done. And as you can see, there it is right there in the apps folder. And that's all we really need to do at this stage here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the Wii, get that 32 gig SD card in the Wii, go to the homebrew channel, hit start, and look for the uh, CIOS installer. There it is. So from here, I want to click on it and I want to load it. We're going to load it up, hit any key on your Wii remote to continue. Once you're in here, you want to change some of the settings by pressing right on your remote. Change the first one to V10 Beta 53. Scroll down to the CIOS base. Change it from 37 to 56. Again, hitting right on your Wii remote. Then scroll down to the CIOS revision. Change it from 21010 to 65535 by pressing right on your controller. Then click A. It is going to bring you to another menu here. You'll see the 249 is flashing. You don't want to do anything here except hit A to install. So we're going to do that and see what happens. Starting to download a bunch of things here. We're going to give it some time and let it download. Once it's done downloading, it's going to bring you back to this screen and you're going to want to go into the 248, hit A, and change some of the settings here. So change the V10 beta 53, scroll right to beta 52, uh, go down, change the 37 to 57. Scroll down again, change the 249 to 250. And then scroll down again, change the 21010 to 65535. So once you're done all that, you're going to want to hit A to continue again. Brings you back to this screen. The 250 is now flashing. You're going to hit A to install. This might take a little while, but let it finish installing.
Once it's done installing, it will bring you back to this screen, but you're pretty much done here, so you can just press B to exit, and it'll bring you back to the homebrew channel. We don't need to do anything here either. Hit home on your Wii remote, exit to the system menu, and that's really it. So you might be wondering, what did I just do? I'll show you what you did in the future videos when you want to add Wii and GameCube games. Check out the next video for how to add WADs.